Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So many of you have written in to me saying, can you please do video, videos on etiquette? Well, I think that is a great idea, but let's start with what the definition of etiquette is, because I feel like that is lost, very lost. It's a wonderful day on the tennis court, a wonderful day on the tennis court, a gorgeous day on the tennis court. Won't you be mine? Can you be mine? Won't you be my partner? Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Mr. Tennis Spin's Etiquette. All right, guys, so I called out Coach Rob, the gentleman of the sport, to do this segment about etiquette. Coach Rob, thank you for joining me today. Sure. So let's. Let's talk about, uh, you know, when you and I were growing up, it was, I feel like, pretty different than what it is today. Absolutely. And I feel like we're going the wrong way with uh, at least the game of tennis here. Um, let's, let's backtrack to when you and I were growing up, and let's define what uh, etiquette used to mean. Um, Sure. Let, let's look at the word, though. Etiquette is, like, let's use some words. Um, I guess proper, the proper, proper way yeah. of doing things. Right. Um, and I feel like it's thoughtfulness, yeah. mindfulness, and respectfulness. Right. Right? So we, we are thoughtful of each other not just of ourselves a lot of selfishness <laughs> out there we respect others not just ourselves right and we're mindful of what's going on okay so we're mindful of what's going on around us so to survey the situation should you open your mouth or should you be quiet is I think one of the biggest things out there. And let's also talk about one of the main words that is kind of lost in today's day and age, um, and that's professionalism. Like, I feel like we're doing casual too much now. We're taking it kind of a little bit further than, than we need to. Um, tennis has always been a gentleman's sport which means i guess if you're looking at it in the etiquette standpoint you do it the right way there's a way to do it and it's whether it gets taught or handed down or is emphasized when you're growing up or learning um you know uh, sometimes i know back in the day if we did it wrong we heard about it from some adults and you know um, that was sort of sometimes you learn the hard way because you didn't listen when somebody was telling it to you. I feel like well, you heard are, it, but I feel like those people are missing though. That's the problem. Yep. Yeah, no, <laughs> and well, because you say something and then someone yells at you, and then all of a sudden you have confrontation, and it's just like, hey, this is the way you do it. You don't walk in to go to another court right in the middle of somebody else's playing, observe what's going on around you. Um, you know, you, you look outside of yourself mm. and, and be aware. And, um, you know, sometimes you got to stop and think a little bit before you just go and do it. That's a great point. I, I think that we need to take the fish out of the self. You know, selfishness is, is kind of where there's too much of in, in today's society. Everybody's just selfish. Yeah. It's about me. I don't care about you. And, and then you also brought something else up where um, 
when I first started playing tennis, I didn't know any better. I would just open the gate and start running, right? So the the person there would be like, hey, you know, wait until we're done in between points before you go through or wait until we wave you through, right? And, and I don't think people don't do that anymore because like you said, they don't want confrontation. They don't want people to be like, oh, well, you're high and mighty. Yeah. And I think also we grew up similar age uh, is you respect your uh, elders. Right. And so if someone who's an adult who's talking to you, you kind of sit up straight and listen and, and try to uh, acknowledge what it is they're trying to, you know, help mm -hmm. you with. Um, I, I don't think that really exists that much anymore, but I could be wrong. Unfortunately, um, I kind of see what you're talking about. Um, it, it's, uh, they don't respect the, uh, the thought process. They don't respect the, what do you call that? Um, when you have, uh, when you're older and you have the knowledge. The what, wise man. Wise. The, wi right. the, wisdom, the wisdom is what I'm there looking for. They don't respect the wisdom of their elders. Um, I kind of just understood myself as to, you know, why they usually, like back in the day when they usually have the older person run the companies, right. you know, or, or run the country, you know, it's cause you don't hit that nuclear bomb when you're young, because you probably are going to do that at a, at a younger age versus when you're a little wiser. Right. You know? Yeah. So, so I feel like we've lost that. And, but how do we get, get that back? That's a good question. I think you just need people to try to keep trying to teach it and preach it and, and uh, help the, the generations coming up learn it so that they can express it in their terminology to the next group coming up and that they can have, um, you know, more mutual respect for everybody uh, as they as they grow, because, um, you know, you only go around once. So this is true. I feel like even in like tennis camps and clinics, uh, I don't know about high school tennis, but um, I don't know if they're teaching enough of this. I think sometimes you, you think, it, you know, high school tennis, but they should have already learned that before they got to high school. Like those are things they should have learned in middle school or maybe, you know, lower school. They're starting to learn that when they're playing, close the gate when you come in, clean up the balls when you're done. Those should already be simple basics that you've learned in, in uh, playing tennis. So, um, you know, I, I constantly remind my players, wait till the point's over. Don't just run a clock across mm -hmm. the court. You might be happy or sad you lost, but there's a way to enter and exit the court. And, um, you know, I think lesson one, no matter what age, even if you've heard it once before, um, even if you know it, I feel like in this day and age that it needs to be kind of reinforced because, you know, your mom's nagging at you all the time and you heard it a thousand times, but did you really hear it? You tuned it, it went in <laughs> and out. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not like back in the day when somebody actually yelled at you about it so that you could hear it. Right. I know it must sound like we're two old guys on a bench. We are two old guys on a bench, but we are trying to uh, share some uh, wisdom and some of our thoughts. We're trying to make the tennis world a better place. Because so. we all love the game and we all want to have a great experience when we go out. And, um, you know. Speak, speaking of great experiences and back in our day, remember that phrase, um, do unto others as you want others done on to you right i'm gonna let you define that to them yeah no for sure like you know uh it's like winning warm-up uh, you're warming up you're trying to hit cooperatively not just slam balls in the corners and okay i'm really good let's get our start like no let's go through the process um find a a way of um you know showing respect to the game as well as your opponent um before you go out there and compete, because right. obviously when you're keeping score and you're playing, somebody's going to lose and somebody's going to win. You got a million people playing, well, half of them are going to lose. Mm. So, 
if they all have a lousy experience, they're never playing. Right. And then you just keep shrinking down your, your uh, pool of players and um, you're going to end up playing the same guy every time. And more and more uh, people want to play other people that are similar abilities right. or their friends or have, um, you know, an experience to get out and, um, exactly. a and uh, try something new. It's a fun game, guys. It's easy exercise, as I call it. And, and we don't need to take the game that seriously. Um, and even if you do, I respect your opponent because uh, you don't want your opponent to be like a, you know, a bad person and, and, and treat you bad, right? Because you, you wouldn't want to do that to them and hopefully they wouldn't want to do that to you. So just watching the match between Alcarez and Sinner, I mean, I feel like they're, they were both great sportsmen. Um, no screaming, no yelling, uh, very respectful of the game, very respectful of each other. Right. And I think a lot of times so much is like if you're watching the news, it's all about the car crash or the accident or who's, something negative. And mm -hmm. and now you need more examples of, you know, good sportsmanship, good etiquette. That is um, I don't remember. There was one match where a guy got the ball on a double bounce. I think it was against Andy Murray and the umpire didn't see whether it was a double bounce or not. Mm -hmm. And the guy called it on himself and he goes, right. no, I it bounced twice. And right. It was talked about. It was a lead story. And, you know, it was like, hey, the guy could have taken the point. He, they didn't right. call it, but he knew, hey, I got it on two bounces and, and, um, you know, went about it and did the right thing. And more of that, um, kind of acts of, uh, selfish, selfishness lists. Mm -hmm. And, and, and mm -hmm. um, you know, the guy did end up losing the match, but he, that was, a huge story that this this is how you do it this is what you want your sport to be about and known for is you're still going to go out and compete and give it your all but still you got to do the right thing right i mean i think i've seen novak do it many times i mean whether you like him or not um, i've seen a lot of cases where he's given up the call you know like the somebody called it out and then novak would be like you should challenge this one Right. It, it, it's uh, you need more examples <laughs> of good, positive uh, situations like that. Definitely. Um, you know, so because there's plenty of negative out there. T too many. Let's let's be the example of good etiquette versus um, the latter. OK, Let, let's uh, let's let's treat the game with respect. Let's treat each other with respect and professionalism because as i always say tennis is a game of gentlemen right okay so let's respect and, and what do you do if you're playing somebody who isn't like that right. it's like you got to play the ball like don't yep. get into it with the other person just play the ball it comes over you got to find a way to hit it back right i you know oh i i lost because i didn't like that person like the like play the ball Exactly. Like you're not playing the the actual physical person. You have to get the ball back. They hit it to you. Find a way to get it back. Right. It's not. Let's you know, take it personally. Just play the game. Yeah. Let's go. Easier beyond, said than done. Beyond that. Let's right. Flow you got to be better that. than that. Yeah. Which is easier said than done for sure. I know. So we we need to be professional. Sometimes have a thick skin. But don't. Don't stoop below that, okay? Let's rise above and show them the way that, and, and show that it doesn't affect you, okay? Professionalism, respect, mindfulness, thoughtfulness, okay? Play it the right way, guys. That's all that we ask. Coach Rob? Thank you for joining me on this. Two old guys on a bench. <laughs> no Laurel and Hardy today, okay. but uh, at least it's Mr. Rogers and Mr. Rogers. All right. <laughs> guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.
Uh, is this on? Harry, Harry, what are we doing here? Oh, hey, bud. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So I'm just setting up my swing vision over here so that during our hitting session, uh, we can, you know, see how bad I'm doing today. Okay, great. Yeah. But you won't be doing bad, Harry. No. You'll I'm... be moving your feet watching the ball. This, this is why I love you, buddy. <laughs>